Hi, welcome back to our channel. Do you know how minimalist a Japanese house can really look with tatami mats and paper windows? In this video, we're going to show you a real Japanese style room. So stick to the end and find out the hidden secret about the room. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dustin. Hi, I'm Akina, and we are Japan Questions Answered channel. <laughs> so, Dustin. Yep.、Uh, before you came to Japan, did you know how Japanese paper windows and paper doors work? Not really. I saw them in movies, you know, I saw them in samurai movies. <laughs> yeah. And、uh, I didn't really know how it works because to me it seems very flimsy. Like,、mm -hmm. it seems like something that would be destroyed by any wind at any time. <laughs> And、uh, any random person, or even like a bird or something, could just dive bomb the、uh, window and fly right through. So, to me, I didn't know what the master plan was, but it always seemed very cool. And the same with tatami, like, I've seen pictures of it, but I didn't know what it actually was. Yeah, one of the most kind of weirdest or surprising questions I was asked by non Japanese was, was like, Do you have a paper window at your home? And I said yes. And then the person continued, like, like don't, doesn't it get wet? And I was like, uh, yeah, if you don't have any glass window to cover it.、Uh -huh. So I was kind of surprised that there are some people who actually believe that we only have paper window as a like, you know, normal window. So maybe you can find out how. We actually make the room with this video. Alright. l So, Akina, you said that you have some paper windows in your house. How common is this? Like, do you think a lot of houses have these? Well,、uh, it's kind of difficult to tell how much of the houses have it, but I feel it's getting less popular. Okay.、Uh, or less common. It's because it. Requires more maintenance compared to、uh, westernized modern rooms.、Mm. And even we have a、uh, Japanese room in my house, it's only one room out of a few rooms. So it's not that we have all Japanese r o o m for a house usually. We usually have like one or two, maybe small rooms, and that's it pre pretty much. And I was looking for a room for us, and I noticed. That there are some apartments with Japanese style room, but it looks really kind of uncommon, especially in、uh, Tokyo, center, center Tokyo area、okay. for apartments. So I would say it's kind of common enough, but it's also common enough to not to have one. Does、okay. that make sense? So, why do some houses have it and some don't? I mean, what is the actual purpose of the Japanese room besides just looking cool? <laughs> I think it's kind of a difficult question because it really depends on the person who has a Japanese room, I think.、Mm -hmm. But、uh, if you sleep on futon, which is Japanese style bed, it's usually good or better to have tatami,、mm. which we're gonna explain why later. But okay. Yeah. Like, maybe like sleeping room and I don't know, just a spare room, maybe? I mean, just from the ones I've seen, they seem like pretty relaxing.、Mm -hmm. So, to me, I, I would get the feeling like it would be a good place to study or just to have a morning tea or something like that. Yeah, maybe. The thing is, if you put something heavy on a tatami, then that could leave some bumpy mark. On the tummy, and then you don't want to have it because it doesn't look cool or feel nicer. Okay. Plus, the tummy mat is, could absorb some water or liquid, so you don't want to spill it, spill anything yeah, on the mat. Yeah, I don't want to spill any tea, okay. So, it's kind of difficult to decide how to use the room for us, actually. So, in many cases, you probably don't see anything in the room.、Mm. Which is why it's got a minimalist look to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Maybe the Japanese room is really minima minimalist looking, but the other room is super messy. Yeah, I would just say in general, whenever I see these rooms, they look so comfortable. Maybe it's because of the minimalist look, but I feel like I want to just kind of lay down on the tatami. Even though the tatami itself isn't very comfortable, it just kind of feels nice to be in the room. I don't know why. I think it's something to do with wooden color and nice、uh, greenish color on the tummy.、Mm -hmm. so、it's kind of like in nature somehow. Yeah, it kind of feels like an outdoorsy feel, even though you're indoors. 
the so the atmosphere feels kind of more soft compared to modern Western rooms for us. Okay. But, yeah. So Akina, thanks a lot for that general rundown of the Japanese style room. Now I got a question for you, which is, how do Japanese style paper windows actually work? So actually, the paper windows are called shoji, and just imagine having a lace curtain over your window. Okay. So we actually don't have the paper windows just directly outside. And we always have glass window over paper window. Okay, so that protects it from the from the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the lace effect is it cuts the light. Is that the case? Yeah, uh, like as lace curtains cut direct sunlight, the short paper windows also cuts the light a little bit. Okay. But it's usually white paper, so it still gives you uh, enough. Sun or light. Good. Yeah, and the reason I like these shoji is that it softens the sun really nicely. It's kind of like really soft sunlight kind of thing. That's cool, but isn't it a little bit easy to hurt the paper? Yeah. Um, the paper is called washi, and it's supposed to be stronger than normal. Photocopier pin- printing papers and stuff. Okay. Uh, so it lasts unless you poke it. So don't poke it. Yeah. So like when I was a kid, I always wanted to poke it <laughs> because that makes it old. Yeah. Yeah. So every once in a while, you kind of have to replace the paper because it gets d- dirtier and stuff. So I was always happy to make holes when we. Ah, Remove the paper. It was funny. really fun. That's funny. Yeah. And you mentioned that aside from windows, there's also doors. Yes, we have also Japanese paper doors. But how do those work? So basically, they are the same as shoji. We have wooden frame, and we put Japanese paper washi on it. The difference is between shoji and this paper door, which is called husuma, is that. Paper windows have kind of really white, slightly transparent paper on it,、mm-hmm. while also we have usually、um, kind of thicker and、uh, with pattern. On、um, the paper door. Paper door has a more thick pattern. Okay. Yeah. So it's not really designed to let light. It can let some light in, but it's、mm-hmm. not designed as much to get the light in. Is、yeah. that right? Yeah. Okay. And these doors—is it like a door, like you know, a Western door, where you just pull it open and close it? Is it like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called doors or windows, but the way we use it is just this way. So they're sliding. Yeah, sliding doors. And I've heard the reason we have these kind of doors—it、uh, was easier to have these doors this way when you're wearing kimono, sitting down. To open it and close、uh, okay. it, because if you were usually supposed to sit down to open the doors or windows. Interesting. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. And you also mentioned I've seen that these sliding doors, the paper doors, you can actually use them to separate rooms, right? Yes.、Uh, both paper windows and paper doors are actually removable.、Mm. So if you have a big、uh, Japanese dining room, you can have、uh, paper windows or paper doors in the middle, and you can remove the doors and such. Then you can have bigger room or make the room smaller if you put the window the doors back. That's really awesome. Yeah, we actually removed some、um, of these doors when we're filming this video, just so we could let more light, direct light into the room. So it's pretty cool that you can do that, and I've seen these sort of sliding things in restaurants, where they'll se- they'll separate. Maybe not necessarily paper doors, although they are sometimes. But they'll use these separators, and they'll take them off if there's a big group of people. It's very cool to see that they can change the s- the size of each room、mm-hmm. with the、uh, some doors <laughs> just taking out doors. And I just saw a TV show on these doors and paper windows. I actually couldn't finish the whole thing, but I learned some interesting facts on the doors. 
that、uh, we actually use glue made of rice. Really? Yeah. And there is, there's some really good papers and good glue. So there's some really old paper dolls which stood 300 years without any update. With, really? Without being upgraded? Yeah. And this paper glue that's made from rice is、yeah. going to be working for hundreds of years. <laughs> Looks like it. That's amazing. Yeah. And we just mentioned that. Japanese paper windows and paper doors are supposed to be open when you are sitting. So the doors, han- doors handles are usually lower than the Western one. Ah,、uh, yeah, they are actually, I see. Yeah, yeah, because it's easier to reach when you're sitting. Oh, I was always wondering why they were so low, because I always have to crouch down to open those Japanese style doors or windows. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That makes sense, though. That's cool. So, now that we've talked about paper windows and paper doors, could you please tell us about tatami mats, Akina? Tatami mat. Yeah. Tatami mat is so good. I actually really love it when, when I have it around me. They're cool. Yeah. And did you know that tatami mat can smell really nice when it's new? Yeah, I think it kind of smells like a cross between a pine tree and like. Dried grass, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's kind of even h a r b o r too, right? Mm, okay. Mm. And it has a really nice, soft green color when it's new, and it gets older as time goes on, and it's basically like burnt by the sunshine a little bit and、okay. goes brownie. Yeah, so it loses the green hue over time, and I guess it smells less as、yeah. time goes on, right? So, sadly, there is a term in Japanese which goes, Tatami and the wife should be new. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> It's better to have newer tatami and newer wife. Newer wife? Meaning like a young wife. Okay. But what about when the wife gets older? Do, do you need to replace it? Because you replace tatami, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a very odd phrase or an, an odd saying. But anyway, I get the point. So,、uh, anyway, I heard that the tatami is very expensive, actually. Is that true? Yes.、Um, it, again, really depends on what quality you get. But tatami, the structure is you have the foundation of tatami mat, which doesn't have tatami on. And you put thin tatami carpet on the foundation. So, you have to pay for both, and if you get good foundation and good cover, then that's gonna reach like nearly 500 US dollars per mat. Per mat, and the mats are not that big, right? They're like, let's see, what's the length of the mat? It, it actually varies on the mat as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, the mats I'm looking at right now, they look like they're about one and a half meters long by. I don't know, a half meter wide. All right, we actually just looked it up, and the size of the tatami is usually about 176 centimeters long by about 86 centimeters wide. So they're, you know, they're not small, but at the same time, if they cost as much as Akina just said, which is like $500 if you pay for a really good one, then it can cost a lot to have a whole room filled with them. Like, I'm looking in the room we have here right now. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight on this side, and then there's another side. So that'd be 16 of those things. I don't think the ones in here are the highest quality, but yeah, it can definitely add up. So that's why probably you don't see them all the time, right? They're very expensive. Yeah, and tatami, when tatami gets older, it feels kind of bad. Like, There's some parts kind of ripped, ripped off and、yeah. stuff. So and it you, gets kind of uneven too. Yeah, so you always want to start f e e l like you want to renew it. Yeah. Yet, it's so nice when you have a new one though. It feels so good. So, actually, there are three main sizes of tatami mats. Really? Yeah, and the most common one is Edoma, which is basically a Tokyo based one.、Mm-hmm. Edo means Tokyo. And Kyoma, which is Kyoto based one, and Chu Kyoma, which is kind of around、uh, Nagoya area. Okay. And the sizes are, sizes are slightly different for each one, apparently. 
but they're like a unit of measure you mentioned, right? Yeah,、uh, actually, to tell me, Matt. We have kind of good concept about how big it is,、uh-huh. and it's really common to use a tatami as a unit of measuring for a room.、Uh, okay. And the unit is called jo.、Uh, so one tatami mat is one jo, ichi jo, and like or two mats and ni jo. Okay. I think I actually saw that when we were looking at some apartments on the internet. It seemed like they showed some of them in that size. Yeah. Which is surprising. Like especially when we talk about rooms with just like verbally with your friends or someone, it's we usually use tatami units more than square meters. I think. Really. Hmm. Depends on the person, but like. That's、uh, cool. We、uh, we do use square meters too, but sometimes it's easier to think about tatami unit because、mm-hmm. it's more you know we we have more concrete concept of how big one tatami is. Cool. So did you know the fact that tatami mat is supposed to breathe? Yeah, I actually heard that before.、Oh, okay. Yeah, like、um, I heard that it sort of dehumidifies the air in the、mm. summertime when it gets so humid in Japan. But then, if it's dehumidifying, you would think that it would need to be、uh, aired out, also, right? I assume. So if you're sleeping on the floor mat, like don. It's better to have tatami because it breathes and kind of you know when you're sleeping you kind of sweat without noticing it,、okay. right? So it kind of you know releases the humidity from the the futon, so it kind of helps the futon stays dry more than the usual floor.、Uh-huh. So like if you keep the futon on the normal floor, then it could get mold quite easily. Ah,、uh, yeah. But if you use tatami mat, granted you still have to you know air it out and stuff. But it's better to have tatami. How do you air out the tatami? Do you have to actually remove the mats, or just <laughs> just don't sleep on it for a day? Or <laughs> yeah, just give it some some hours to breathe it. So move the futon away or whatever, so that there's nothing on top of the tatami. Then it can breathe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tatami mat is really actually nice to sleep on it. Like in a nice summer day, I sometimes like to sleep or have a nap on a tatami mat with like a really light blanket on. It feels so nice somehow. Yeah, I used to have a place that had a tatami area, which I slept on, and it was pretty good actually. I liked it. The room was very cozy, and、um, even though the tatami isn't that soft. It's soft enough that when you have the futon on top, the Japanese-style floor bed, then it is pretty good. It's it's a nice way to sleep, and if you haven't tried it, I would highly recommend it. So anyway, if you like the video, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you didn't like the video, subscribe anyway. And if you want to check out some other videos we did about Japan. Feel free to check out our video about the private onsen experience in Shizuoka, or you can check out our video about are Japanese people really Buddhist? And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching this video, video everybody. everybody. Why don't you leave a, a comment? comment? Let us know what, what you think. Think. Thanks. Thank you.